It's a dog in the way. She's gone. She's gone. Chris. Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Welcome back. Um, it's official, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the news. <laughs> the rundown today, we've got the worst zoo ever. We've got Forklift Revenge, uh, Tattoo Eyeball Goes Wrong. I haven't even read this story yet, I don't want to read it. Um, a chippy kickoff, if you don't know what a chippy is to any American listeners, it's where we get french fries. A chip shop. Yes, and a... a French fry shop. Uh, a... Penis themed theme park. <laughs> Lovely. It has been dubbed the worst zoo in the world. What the? Alan Steinbeck. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Who the fuck's Alan Steinbeck? I have no idea. <laughs> Carry on, Chris. <laughs> There's been a zoo opened up in Yalen City in South Korea. Oh? Yes, that's what, I that's what other people thought. It was like a zoo. Okay, it's interesting, interesting. And right, <clears throat> you ready? Because the one I'm going to tell you. The rundown oh. of what's in this zoo. Oh, go. Are you ready? Go for it. They have one tortoise, but it is dubbed the Fortune Tortoise. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. They have three chickens. Less in cool. In a fence. They have six ducks with no water. And to top it off, you'll love it, to top it off, they have six penguins, but that they, they are inflatable penguins. <laughs> what the fuck? We got fortune telling turtle, ducks with no water, chickens in a fence, surrounded by fence. Just chickens, right? So a shitty little farm, yeah, or an allotment, and yep. and fake pe penguins, inflatable penguins. <laughs> I, I just <laughs> oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> there's more. Oh, there's more. There's more. To enter the uh, park yeah. per person, it is with the 15 remini, rem rembies, whatever you fucking pronounce it, which works out at £1.68 per person. Yeah, they're still overcharging there. And the entrance is just a guy sitting on a pig chair <laughs> with a side mount. He's open. <laughs> is, this, is this Beal? Is this Beal's Get Rich Quick Scheme? <laughs> Probably. This sounds like Beal's Get Rich Quick Scheme, you fucking schneid. So yeah, if you want to go to the zoo in the... And if you're in South Korea and you want to see some animals, pop your cell in. Uh, we, well, not me. I've been there where people have experienced this annoyance. Um, oh, I haven't done it myself. People get annoyed when the people park cars in the way of houses and buildings and something that they shouldn't be parked in front of. This one car owner was frustrated. They seen a forklift and car decided... Car owner? Yes, he was owner of a car. Whatever. Okay. He was uh, annoyed the car was blocking his business. Um, to be a business owner. And uh, he seen a forklift, lifted the car up and just moved it. Did he, did he destroy the car or did he just no, put no. it down gently? He put it down nicely. He I would have barrel rolled at me. Forks up. Moved. I would have... <laughs> And then I would have, like, elbow dropped through the windscreen. And some, just, like, you know, spat on it or something. Tried to stunner it. That would be quite funny. Mm. We all get tattoos. Well, we don't know how to say we all, but we've all learned. Um, People get tattoos. People get tattoos. <laughs> and there is a thing with the... It's called a weird word. Oh, what, what weird word? It is called... It is called... I'm going to fucking put the spelling up. In a minute. It is called... Scleral tattooing, basically eyeball inking. I've um, heard of that, but mm, I've never mm, physically seen yeah. it. It looks cool. It does look cool, by the way. It does look cool. If it gets uh, done right, that is. <laughs> but unfortunately, it never to this Canadian model. Um, I've seen it's got an eyeball tattooed. Kind of went wrong, unfortunately. Because a couple of days later, she... Uh, couldn't open her eyeball, so it was like <laughs> squeaky door. Yeah, so so she went to the hospital, and she ended up getting infected, and it ended up I've even put the picture up now. 
yeah, looks nasty. And if you haven't seen it, it's basically a picture of her eye slapping pink, purple fluid. Oh, the ink from the... Down. Yeah. I don't know how it works anyway. It's... How does it not make you go blind? No, because what they do, it's, it's a very, very fine yeah. needle. Right. They uh, put it into your white bit of your eye. Retina. Something like that. And Is that a retina? And, and they inject... Then you just like push the ink into oh, it. Oh, okay. So they don't actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm but like, say, unfortunately, it went wrong for her, and it's like, it's left her depressed. She can't get work. And like, say, she's a model, and she can't get work anymore. No one wants to like employ her. It's just like, poor well, lass. Don't get your eye fucking tattooed unless like, not just die, just be safe. Right, people. Uh, again, if you're a viewer from overseas. Manchester is one of our biggest and maybe beautiful cities, but it has some dodgy areas. Oh, beautiful. Uh, it's got some really nice parts in Manchester, especially in the town centre. But some of it is fucked up. Uh, have you never been to Manchester? Twice. I didn't, know. I didn't enjoy it. Oh, well, the, the city centre is quite nice. If you go around the Trafford Centre and shit, it's nice. But anyway, regardless, it's got some crazy people there. If, if you've ever seen Shameless, you want to know what I'm on about. Have you seen Shameless? Yeah. Frank Gallagher. Yeah. This dude went to go to a chippy after a night out and he asked for did you get sausage and chips. Sausage and chips, please. And uh, they put gravy on it and he ended up kicking off because he didn't want gravy. That's quite literally it. The guy went in a rager because he got gravy and didn't want gravy. That's the people of Manchester. It's understandable, really. If someone's going to put something on your plane, you didn't ask for it. Yeah, I always just sort of like, oh, you're yeah. too polite. I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. Thank you. It's when he orders food, he, he kicks off when the, when they kicks off with me. Yeah, when they put, leave. When, when they, they leave. When they put lettuce on, but it's like, excuse me, I don't, I didn't want lettuce. And then they leave, and I'm like, Chris, what a fucking lettuce. Mm, yeah, but yeah, I wouldn't. I like gravy, so I'd be happy with that. And the police come out and everything, and arrested him for fucking gravy. Ha ha. Did you like? This could be interesting. Penis theme park. My kind of park. Wait there a minute. <laughs> Yalin City is in China, not South Korea. Ah, from going to South Korea now. Ah. There we go. That's where I got confused. Sorry, South Koreans. Sorry. So if you're in China, go visit the zoo. Yeah. And if you're in South Korea... What um, if somebody's on their way to South Korea right now and they're like, what? It's in China. Turn around. Yeah, so ask, ask the aeroplane guy, mm. the pilot. Just if you're in South Korea, go visit the world. <laughs> yeah. well, if you really want to, but go visit this theme park. Talking about this theme park, I'm up to date. A penis themed park oh. in South Korea. Uh, picture, no. Uh, do we want a picture? <laughs> it's basically a lot of penises different shapes and sizes there's over 300 different shapes sizes and they're all penises coming out the ground coming out of people's mouths just coming out of people's mouths not people literally but just... no i know it's like a big model head or some shit and it's yeah. coming out of the mouth yes exactly i hope there's an age rating on this theme park i don't know imagine like saying to the kids there's, oh, there's a story park. behind it though oh what yes i've actually done my research on this one I was intrigued. <laughs> oh, he was intrigued, were you, by the, the big penises? I was wanting to know the crap. <laughs> oh. Shut up. Uh. Not that way. I like the fame, the fame, <laughs> the female type. Oh, you like the female type penis? That's my favourite type. <laughs> Seems just wrong. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'm lost when I'm like, no, I'm all flustered. You're lost. Just go down there, to the left, you find a penis. I don't want a penis. It will come out your mouth. <laughs> right. Yes. Right, right, right. Basically, many, 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 many moons ago. Many moons ago. Many moons ago. Uh, it's, they opened this theme park dedicated to a virgin bride to be. You're like, okay, okay, right, okay, why? Well, basically, she drowned. <laughs> She what? She drowned. There Why was, are you laughing? I don't know. Um, um, continue. No. I don't know why I'm laughing, but really. <laughs> Poor girl. I know. <laughs> you savage. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> South Korea, 300 statues of penises, different shapes and sizes, dedicated to the Virgin Bride uh, and to, to be by her fiance. All right, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. She drowned. Uh, her spirit can. Her, her what? Right, okay. I'm, I'll come, I'm back now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this segment's got a bit off the rails a bit. Obviously, her, f- her fiance. No, I don't fucking. <laughs> Did she drown and he made it in no. her honour? Yeah, that one. He, how he, how he does that honour her? I don't know. But no, he kind of like what? designed his theme park. Yeah, I know. Designed his theme park to honour her spirit and can only be pleasured by the male genitals. I don't know what the, the whole story is, but he was a fisherman. He was out to sea all the time. I, I don't know. Like I said, she died a virgin. So I don't know what the situation is with the fur. I don't know the situation behind it all, but he made her a theme park to spiritualize her through male genitals. Oh my! My fiance died. Here's a penis. bunch of dicks. Yeah, that's what. I'd, yeah, I don't think this world is right for me anymore. <laughs> that was back then. That was a long, long time ago. Old dicks. Sorry about that long segment. We got this yeah. sports and weather. Sorry about that. We've got another dying snowman because it's my new fetish. All right. And we've got uh, just some crazy sports. You know, it's just wrong. And uh, that was right. I keep thinking of the... Uh... Chris is nice. Happy time. <laughs> <laughs> this, this one is a story about Maddie. She was born with... Down syndrome, bless her. Uh, she was told at a young age that she wouldn't be able to write, she wouldn't be able to read, and half the stuff she wouldn't be able to do as she, as she grew up in life, what normal people would do. But she said, fuck is all, prove them all wrong, and she graduated high school, and she even became top student Hell yeah. of her year. And with an a, oh yeah, my day. A, she was an A++++ plus, plus, plus graduate point Person. I assume that's like an American type yes. thing, yeah. So she was like way up there and she's like fucking fuck you, man. I didn't realise people who were born with Down syndrome couldn't read or write anyway. Some can or some can't. It all depends on how I didn't even bad know the Down syndrome is. Oh, is it like different stages? Yes. I really need to be more educated in other stuff like that because I haven't got a clue. But that's, well, that's fucking too, right? That's awesome. Yeah. Well done you, Maddie. Right, now another interview. Good. This guy had nowhere to go. I had cornered him. I had trapped my prey. I had trapped my. I had sunk my fangs into him. So what does he do? He goes for a wee wee and falls asleep. <laughs> oh, I didn't know if I was stopping a sight then. That would see. He couldn't get away, but he fell asleep. I don't know if he was faking or not. The, the wee kept coming out, though. And splashed back on me. I saved some to bring home. Got some in the fridge for you. No, thanks. Um, gulp, gulp. I uh, shouldn't mention drowning because this guy... <laughs> He's thanks. mental. I'm a cool man, I'll save you. <gasps> it all ties into one. Conspiracy! The Earth is round, Chris! Freddie Flintoff believes it's flat. I heard. I put it on last week's news. I love Freddie as well. That was this week's news. Fool. Next you'll be believing in aliens. Cheers. To be fair though, his statement, he did say he doesn't believe in it. He he sees that there is evidence to how... Well, that's what I keep saying. Well, hey, no, mate, but, saying. but that's what I've said. You kicked off with me. Because you're fucking mental. Fuck you. Mental, mental. Fuck you. You. Love you, bye. The earth is actually bye. trying. The earth is that. Bye. bye. No, say it. Say it confirmed. No, say it confirmed. Quickly, say it confirmed. What am I saying? Illumin is an eye in a triangle. Shut up. Illumin- Bye. Illumin-